Welcome. This will be a screencast on how to use Google Sites and templates to make an ePortfolio or what I call a Googlio. Google Sites is a free tool by Google that allows anyone to easily make their own website without knowing any computer programming code. To learn more about Googlios, that's Google Sites plus ePortfolios, check out this website at googlios.com. G O O G L I O S. Com. Here you'll find more information about Googlios, what ePortfolios are, examples, getting started resources, articles, and information. So let's begin. Okay, first thing you need to do is sign in. Now there's two different types of accounts. There's the plain old private Google account, which if you go to google.com, sign up right here. Or you have the Google at your domain. Now I'm lucky I work at a school where our school, Notre Dame, has partnered with Google and we have Notre Dame apps at Google. So I'm going to sign in. And all Notre Dame students have Gmail as their email through Notre Dame. And notice up here you have start page, calendar, documents, sites is what we'll be working with today. But check out these later on. Next I'm going to create a new site. Now here's the big thing. We're going to use a template that's already been created for us. So we're going to browse the gallery for more. Here's this important key. Notice that you can search for nd.edu templates or public template. Now make sure you understand which template you're, lo you're looking for and make sure you understand where is it going to be found. Is it public or Notre Dame template? The one where you're going to be using today is going to be public. So I'm going to click on public and I'm going to type in the name of the template that my instructor gave to me. So it's spring 2010 ND Googlio. There it is. I'm going to select the template I want to use and select. Okay, you can see the templates there. Now I give it a name. Now watch when I give it a name, you're, all, you're also going to see the URL match. So my FYS test Googlio. Okay, sometimes if it's already taken, this will be, this address is already taken, you may have to come up with a new name. Um, we're going to skip choose a theme because we've already picked our template, but later on if you'd like to go around and change the colors, you're, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, and I'll show you later how to get there. But this is another important step. We need to get into the more options. Um, I really recommend you filling these out because it makes it the site, the searchability much better. Uh, we're going to say this is an education, uh, my e-portfolio, and here's another important option you need to choose. Do you want to make this site completely public where anybody can view and access and see your website? Or do you want to make it completely private and then only invite people by email the ones who can be able to see your site? Or do you want to make it semi-private where only people at your school, my school is Notre Dame, that have a school account can log in and access it. For me, I like making everything public so I can share and I can be found. So I'm going to hit create site. 